dirty, but I'm chosen so I'm... And coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. And in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. And for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Chris Jutko. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of kidney of Poland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Bo. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC middleweight championship fight. The consensus number one and number two. Oh! Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh! Oh! Back to the feet. Just missed with that right hand. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, is he hurt? 
attempts the front kick there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Head kick is blocked. All right, the fighters are fighting out of the clinch here, and now we go to the ground. Beautiful trip there to get the takedown. Sweep the leg, oh, Johnny. Oh, John. One guy's always paying attention. The other guy's going to take a point. Take a point like they did to you. Oh. He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Set it inside the octagon once more. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So a lot of people thought the number one contender was going to get it done tonight. Not the case. And still UFC middleweight champion of the world. And uh, I think he wants to slow all of that roll when it comes to somebody taking his title. Yeah, absolutely. This guy has desires to be a long-reigning champion. A champion that held onto the belt like the great Anderson Silva did before him. This guy looks to have all the tools to be a long-reigning UFC champion. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your camera. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC middleweight championship fight. The consensus number one and number two, 185 pounders on the roster. The middleweight champion has defended the title several times. Now looking to do just that here tonight. His last defense, he got off to an outstanding start. That is something his opponent will be looking to prevent here tonight. Blocks the strike. And they separate. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory if he couldn't get take. Looks like he might attempt the guillotine now. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the grounded palm will be a plenty from this position. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Now. Bottom 
there trying to control. Nicely done. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Just over two minutes, round one. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Boach. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Both fighters back to their feet now. A oh, little single collar tie there. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Wow! He's got to do something. Back to the feet. Big elbow. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these. Coach has got his head looking for a guillotine. He's attacking guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. focus of this young fighter. You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. All right, so there's the man they're all chasing at 185 pounds, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, and the celebration is on after the big submission win here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 36 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, and still, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Bo! And still, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion and with style points tonight. How about the best 185 pounder in the world submitting the number one contender here tonight? And I'm not sure I've seen him celebrate a win quite to the extent to which he is right now, embracing his coaches. They might even bring the family in here at one point in time. This is a huge win for the man who entered as the undisputed best and leaves that way too. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Weidman is 12 years his senior. He is one inch taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undefeated. 
undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Baldwin, New York, presenting the challenger, Chris Weidman! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 26 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting at a kidney of Poland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Bosch. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with round one of this UFC middleweight championship fight. The consensus number one and number two, 185 pounders on the roster. The middleweight champion has defended the title several times. Now looking to do just that here tonight. His last defense. Oh! Cannot take the many holes. Back to the feet. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Closed guard. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, this is some good ground and pound here as he lands the elbow up top. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Knee to the body here in side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles. Check this slick movement where he slept the leg back in the middle. Now he's going to try to roll for a knee bar. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, stacked guard here now. The feet are on the hips, DC, so for the top fighter, this is not at all ideal. No, this is not ideal, because now he has to try and stop his opponent from kicking him away. How do you do that? You attack the feet. You start grabbing the feet with the hands, lead with your hips, grab the feet with the hands, pass the feet to the side, and start to lead with your knee to try to get him to side control. Weidman's got the full mount. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. 
This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It, now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. And this might just be a matter of time. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Well, you're going to have to be pretty perfect to get this guy off the throne. There he is, the UFC's undisputed middleweight champion. Complete performance here tonight, and it ends with a win by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, and still, the ultimate. Just heard it there from Bruce Buffer and still UFC middleweight champion. He had some doubters coming in. I would imagine he muted most of that noise with this effort. A record on repeat is what happens when this guy fights. Yeah. Every time people say he's not going to be able to get this guy, but over and over he does it and remains the champion. Congratulations, champ. Tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA. Presenting the challenger, Kelvin Gastelum. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of kidney of Poland, ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? 
All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC middleweight championship fight. The consensus number one and number two, 185 pounders on the roster. The middleweight champion has defended the title several times, now looking to do just that here tonight. His last defense, he got off to an outstanding start. That is something his opponent will be looking to prevent here tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just out of the range with that right hand. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh, he's got one hand in, one hand out. Now what you're looking for defensively. Somehow stays in the fight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, Close your hands. Don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing in the half guard, in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His oh, now going to the judo throw, and he ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump, or he can chase submission. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Just over two minutes now. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Attacking on bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Oh, now he's in trouble. Sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Great punch landed with so much power. Head kick there blocked by Gastelum. Just missed with the left there. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Now we're going. Good shot there to land the takedown. Nice job by Gastelum. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Boach. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Take down attempt late, and it's good. And this might just be a matter of time. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee move, trying to get the half guard, which in turn 
What a round. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Good. Oh, nice. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown? The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. Oh! Oh! Ever see. You don't really stand. Take a head kick like this. That is he's done. He's done. He's done. What a performance. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 31 seconds of round number two. Going the winner by knockout and still So a lot of people thought the number one contender was going to get it done tonight. Not the case, and still UFC middleweight champion of the world. And uh, I think he wants to slow all of that roll when it comes to somebody taking his title. Yeah, absolutely. This guy has desires to be a long-reigning champion. A champion that held onto the belt like the great Anderson Silva did before him. This guy looks to have all the tools to be a long-reigning UFC champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Alex Poetai Pereira! And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting at a kidney of Poland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Bo. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready?
right, so here we go with round one of this UFC middleweight championship fight. The consensus number one and number two, 185 pounders on the roster. The middleweight champion has defended the title several times, now looking to do just that here tonight. His last defense, he got off to an outstanding start. That is something his opponent will be looking to prevent here tonight. Just misses with the straight right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the defender. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Elbow to the head there by Boach. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Boach. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Boach gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Nice head kick. Big ball for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. to the head inside of the clinch. A oh, little single collar tie there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, this fight's gonna be over. This. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the point, thought he was going low, and now he's got to hurt very badly. I should say so, a tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still So a lot of people thought the number one contender was going to get it done tonight. Not the case. And still UFC middleweight champion of the world. And uh, I think he wants to slow all of that roll when it comes to somebody taking his title. Yeah, absolutely. This guy has desires to be a long-reigning champion. A champion that held onto the belt like the great Anderson Silva did before him. This guy looks to have all the tools to be a long-reigning UFC champion. 